Hi everyone, Grace, you all are doing well and welcome back to another lesson in LifeWire. Now in this one what we're going to be learning about is life cycle groups in LifeWire. Alright, so I'm only, this is going to be a short one because I mainly only want to talk about the one and it's the mount method but I will show you the other ones as well. Right, as some names, if you read the documentation, it will, if you're new to object oriented programming, it will kind of confuse you a little bit. Right, so let's go to our editor and get started. Right, so there are four or five different lifecycle looks, actually, a little bit more because you can actually do once if you update a certain component and things like that. Right, so the first one that we can talk about is the mount method. Right, so let's quickly go to our LifeWire component. Let's say user details right here. If you remember from the previous ones, I created the mount method right there. So I'm going to open my post controller right here. Now, the thing about the mount method, you have to, you're going to utilize this one quite a lot. Right, you have to think it in terms of a construct method in PHP. Now, the thing is, before let's say before this object this class is run the construct method is actually the first thing that gets run the reason for that is because that's why we use middleware inside our construct method because this is the first thing that we run because before let's say in this case we have an authenticated middleware before all the other methods or anything that run in the side of this class we have to check if the user is authenticated Right, so that's why we put it inside our construct method right there, because this is the first thing that get run once this object or this class is instantiated. Now the same thing happens with our LifeWire component. So once the comp this basically this component is initialized or instantiated, all right, this method is the first thing that runs. All right, so. Now the thing is, this will run first, and then after that, you will have obviously your hydrate and things like that, but then you will have your render view run there. So basically this one run once, okay, before the after the component is basically instantiated, but before the render view, this render method is actually called. All right, so the next thing that we have is called the hydrate. I just wanted to mention these two as well. So the hydrate is basically, it just refers to the process, the process of actually filling or populating an object with data. And dehydrate basically is basically the opposite of that. Now the updated, this one right here, basically whenever we update a property so a public property right there the update method is available okay so whenever you update the public property this updated hook is available to use okay so the thing about this one is that's why it's a little bit short because in the coming lessons what we're going to do is we're going to do a couple of projects to be able to utilize all the things that we have learned so far in LifeWire and just to expand our knowledge a little bit more on LifeWire. So things will get a little bit tougher. So in the next one, we can just build a contact form with LifeWire. Then after that, maybe a database table. Or then after that, I will, I'm open to suggestions and things like that. Okay. So then for the next one, what we're going to do is we're just going to build a contact form so we can learn a bit, a little bit more. So we start from small baby steps and we build it up to something more complicated and things like that. So we're going to build a couple of projects going forward with Lava. All right. I just wanted to explain these ones. So we're going to utilize them actually when we start building our projects. So that's why this one's a little bit short. Right. So if you like the video, guys, please give it a like. If you don't, please give it a dislike and constructive, negative, positive, or any other feedback are always appreciated. Right. So please, if you have suggestions, please leave it for me in the comment section and I will see if I can get to that as well. Right. So I might not always choose uh, what is suggested. So please don't feel like I'm rejecting anybody. It's just I, I have so much time that I have available. And I really want to build up the community in 
the on YouTube. Thank you guys and please consider subscribing to the channel. Goodbye. Adios.